In recent years, shopping for furniture has changed, like a lot. Homeowners, as well as designers, are scouting out vintage pieces in big numbers. And I'm talking big furniture items too, not just home decor and accessories. Think retro sofas, antique chairs, and one-of-a-kind tables. These second-hand items have become a really hot commodity, and today we're filling you in on the best way to score a winner. Designer Lauren Oviet is here to share the reasons why to shop vintage and where to shop for pieces that you won't regret, which I think is huge. It's so good to see you. First of all, dressing the topic. I know, well, we were just talking off camera. This is my granny's, so we have to like go into vintage, wearing vintage. I love it. This is 1980s. Isn't this wild? Amazing. No, it's like, fantastic. Everything comes around, you know, especially in fashion. Well, it's home decor too. It speaks to the topic. We know secondhand shopping is more sustainable. It's kinder to the earth. Mm -hmm. From a design perspective, why shop vintage? Well, for a few reasons. And one of the most practical right now is if you have shopped for anything in the last two years, you know how difficult it is to get anything. Mm from furniture that's even domestically made being backlogged with tons of orders coming in to the container issue overseas. So if mm -hmm. you're buying imported stuff, it's just impossible to get what you want. So with the click of a button to get online and be able to search for vintage, pre-loved, pre-owned furniture is so easy. We're pinning you down on some of your favorite sources because mm -hmm. that can be tricky. So mm -hmm. as we look at websites, Cherish made your list. Cherish, so it's spelled chair, like the chair you chair, in. Chair -ish. Cherish. Fabulous website. I really love it. It's almost like for, made by designers for designers. So it really caters to all kinds of home furnishings from big furniture pieces to artwork, accessories, lamps, rugs, anything you can think of. So I did hand pick a few items from my favorite sites. Fantastic. So I don't know if we're going to go through those just yet. But yeah, here's my pick from Cherish. So the thing to remember is as more specific you can get, the better. So what I typed in was Baker. Now Baker's a really well-known furniture vendor, been around for years and years and years. Uh -huh. So who's making pieces like this right now? Right. You know, how right. much would you have to pay for a piece like this? This piece is $2,500. You couldn't pay a cabinet shop locally to make something like right. that for you. So it's really, really fun to see, especially if you have a knack for being able to pair the old with the new or mm -hmm. really wanting um, bigger pieces that can make a statement in your home. Shopping vintage is really a great way to go. I think there's something to be desired there, sort of a lived-in space that's layered, a little more traveled. People are into that right now. Absolutely. I mean, you think about, I mean, there's a, there's a big trend in modern, but the most favorite spaces I've ever been into tell a story. They have a little age. There's the interest here and there, and yeah. it feels warm and inviting, and who doesn't want that? Don't overlook Etsy, you say, as another source. Yeah, so Etsy, what used to be like little handmade, homemade goods, now sellers are realizing that it's a hot market for selling bigger pieces. So my pick from Etsy was a pair of lamps. So yeah, they could use a new shade. <laughs> but the candlestick trend is really hot right now with taper candles. We just saw the segment on florals with the taper candles. So to have a beautiful classic pair of French candlestick brass lamps is really great. A new shade is easy. All right, next on the list, first dibs. Yeah, first dibs. Okay, so first dibs it made its reputation as a really high-end vendor. So if you, I think that they can sell their stuff for more. You know, like you'd find the same piece on Etsy and first dibs, but first dibs can sell it for more. Okay. You can find like heirloom jewels on first oh, dibs. Oh, wow. But again, um, you don't just go on first dibs and type in chair, okay? <laughs> so, so you'll see really specifically, this is a French directeur style. It's a bergere. So the more keyword savvy you can become, okay. the easier it's gonna be to shop for these things. These sites are saturated with tons of inventory. Well, you think of walking into a vintage shop mm -hmm. and the overwhelm is real. I can only imagine on a website how that would just overtake you. So specificity is your friend. Absolutely, so the more savvy you can get on what you're really looking for, whether it's retro or 80s or yeah. 90s or even going back into historical keywords like Louis the 15th. Oh. And you know, so those kind of keywords are really key in because the sellers, they know what it is, uh -huh. and so they'll post it specifically. You're giving a nod to KSL Classifieds. Yes, so don't knock on the Classifieds. <laughs> Again, it's a market that is very saturated, and um, maybe not as keyword savvy, but I found this really great mirror. I mean, $40. Look at that. Are you kidding? So it's a vintage rattan, and we know that the rattan trend is really hot right now. So yes. to have a little corner where you can put a mirror or maybe just swap out the builder grade mirror for something really fun in a, yeah. in a powder room or something could be really great. Totally. Send me that link. Please, please, please. <laughs> All right. We 
mean, so easier access is one benefit for sure. Another benefit you say is better quality, and you've touched on that. You can get a yes. higher end item for a little bit less. Yes, yeah, so really consider in today's market, there's still a lot of quality made furniture, but so much of what we're seeing and what we're being pushed is low end, low quality, it's not made to last furniture. Mm -hmm. So if you can shop vintage and find something that has a brand name, that'll be kind of your key, then you know that it's of high quality and probably for a similar or lower price point than you could buy new. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, the look. I mean, we just have to spend a little bit more time on, on what you can accomplish or achieve with a vintage look. Right, I mean, I love a piece that tells a story. Yeah. You have a sectional in your house. I do, the that, green couch. Yeah, I know, that was inherited, and it's like such a treasured piece for you. It and is. the quality has held up. So I think, again, if your aesthetic is comfort, warmth, livab livability, and creating that inviting space, Shopping vintage should not be overlooked. And what I would say is if you're a little hesitant to start, some people don't want to buy someone else's sofa, okay? Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. totally get that. Shop for case goods. Case goods are tables, coffee tables, side tables, bookcases, case pieces, because that's where you can really mix in like a nice walnut table with your new existing piece. You say you can ask the previous owner or the, the owner about um, construction. Like Absolutely. how is this made or where did you source this? Yes, so you wanna ask those questions. Is there MDF or is there plywood inside? Mm -hmm. If it's a chair, does it have springs? Is it hardwood frame? Do the legs screw into the bottom? So these are all questions that will help you understand if it's a piece that's going to last. And then I'd also ask, has it been um, restored? Mm. Or has it been you know, painted over and over and over again? Sometimes the pictures tell a story, but I think these sellers, they really do have the integrity, they care about the pieces, and they want you to be satisfied with your purchase. Well, you know how much we love and respect and revere your eyes. So to see vintage through your lens is actually really motivating and really <laughs> inspiring. Where can we see more of your work? Yeah, so I have a website, laurenobiot.com, but daily on Instagram is kind of where I'm sharing what I'm doing and the finds and the installs that are happening in my business. We will meet you there. Thank you so much, Lauren, for the sources and the inspiration.